What's going on? It's Robert Kelly here, and I want you to join my Patreon. I got this. Why is Andrew Schultz sitting like a lesbian? I got that. Take a look. <laughs> this too. Oh, what's in the box? Dude. Oh, whoa. I've been waiting months for this. And check this out. Oh, no. All right, we have a special guest coming in. Your background, what is that? Hold on a second, somebody's teasing me. Hold on a second, that's not my fault. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is on there. I think we definitely empowered trolls. We gave trolls a template for how to nail each other. And this. Less titty challenge. Yeah. Oh, shit. Did you break your bed? It don't matter. I think that's it. Nope, you get this too. Dead, 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 dead. dead. Uh, it's it. always been fun to be friends with you <laughs> doing stand up comedy all these years. So hit the button, click it, patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. You'll thank me later. Patreon.com with Robert Kelly. I talked to Uncle Judah Johnny Shack the other day. It's good for business. I want to tell you about a amazing company that me and my wife found. We've been going to New Hampshire for the last 30 years uh, vacationing, and we love it up there. We've been renting, and we've been a guest, and we've always wanted to own, but we couldn't afford it. It was just out of our reach until we found Tiny Homes of Maine. Uh, this company is amazing. It's a husband and wife. It's a family-owned business, and they make the most amazing tiny homes on the market. They're built to withstand Maine winters. And they look amazing. They're fully customizable. And uh, they have three different sizes. You should check them out. If you're thinking about, you know, having a second home or maybe downsizing or, you know, just having uh, an office, go tiny. And go to Tiny Homes of Maine. The company is amazing. And uh, they help you every single step of the way. From finding the right one for you from making it from the, the ground up and to finding about the laws in your area and financing, you couldn't go with a more amazing company and a more amazing family than Tiny Homes of Maine. Yeah, baby, we're starting the podcast right now. We're back. You know what, dude, live. Welcome, everybody, to the show. YKW. I started the social media and podcast. <laughs> the fact. The YKW dude podcast. YKWD is back again. Old school, back in the day, where it all started. Before them all. YKW. YKWD. This podcast is so fun and crazy. It has no rules. Shut up. You're ruining this. Where's the ball man? Sorry, it's a comedy podcast. This isn't NPR. That's what this podcast does. Is there any better show? This is the original. Original. You know what, dude? We're back. It's Robert Kelly and the uh, uh, the dude from You Know What, Dude. I got nothing. I'm fucking floundering tonight. Uh, I'm very excited to be back. We sound a little weird, but that's okay. Uh, I got, I'm telling you right now, I got Dan Soto. You knew that was going down. Yeah, yeah. But then we have, what's, yeah, what's, why oh, do we start about, what's going oh, on? Oh, there it is, sweet Robert. What's happening? Oh, my sweet Robert. And we got, of course, a uh, special guest. Where's my camera? Joe List. Two? My camera two? Yeah, you're two, dude, right, right in the two, right down barrel. Oh, shit. <laughs> Joe List off the grid for a while, but now he's back. Back, baby. Back. Back. In the saddle again. And because of your new no Puerto Rican rules here in the studio, Lewis yes. could not be here tonight. Yeah, there's no that is a new rule, but that's not my fault. No, yeah, that was something you implemented. It's COVID's fault. What happened? Did he get sliced with a switchblade? Puerto Rican. Oh, speaking of which, what's up? I don't know your facial scars. What happened? Um, I got I got attacked by chicken wire this summer. Wait, what, were you in a fucking death I'm, match I'm at like, a local I'm wrestling like event? You and you and anybody you two know. I am a man that does yard work. Yeah. Cool. Yard work. Loser. Yeah, I'd work. call you the F word if we were still allowed to call each other the <laughs> F word. Oh, my God. I would have said it three times already. You can say, you, you're saying that I'm a sissy boy? Yeah. Do you because I do my own work. What's up, Gardner? You're Forrest Gump. Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys, you're a simple I mean, man. You guys are nerd bullies. Yeah, we are. Hey, yeah. Nerd, we're nerds with beards. What's dude? up with the, the <laughs> eyebrow turned. hair? Is that, a, is that a bit? It's my lucky. Are, you, try, are you trying to be <laughs> Abe Vigoda? Look, first, it's <laughs> wild. It's my lucky eyebrow hair. It, it looks like an umpire calling. Ah! 
<laughs> no. It's, it's all you're always inquisitive. Well, I'll, you look like a cartoon cat. I didn't do anything. That <laughs> yeah, dude, that thing strong. fucking fights through. Now, go, what, so, <laughs> yeah. so what did you trip on chicken wire? No, I have I have to do all my yard work. I do everything but mow. And Who rake, mows? Um, uh, this gay guy, I know. Oh, <laughs> he's a mo. No, um, yes, no, uh, the, <laughs> you guys would have laughed. It was fucking 1997. Yeah, we were downstairs at the table back when things mattered. 2005 on ONA, you, you got it. The word mo. Yeah. Um, it was, uh, I have a guy, Tano. I have like a 97 year old Italian guy with a limp. Uh, and he does my. Feels he, good, doesn't it? Uh, what? Give him money. Don't no, it cool. doesn't. He fucking broke my lilac at bushes. So lilac of bushes. Uh, Mr. Kelly. I'm no, not out. at all. He goes, you they grow back. What are you gonna do about it, you <laughs> bitch ass pussy? Yeah, that's right. Bro. Really? Right, dude. Let me tell you something about like, when you when you have when you get married and get a house, you become a spineless jellyfish on certain things. Um, when they deliver the wrong food, when they rush you on the phone. What else? I, oh, that's it. And but then, but you? Yeah, me. I don't believe that you would break like that. First of all, he's Italian, so I feel bad. I know. We know how they can get. <laughs> no? We're big, not doing that anymore? Those big dicks and spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> what a name for her. Yeah, dude. What a cool name. That's a good podcast name. Yeah, dude. If just you're all a, Italian guys. Just Italian guys yeah, sitting around. Dice and Sebastian. Big dicks and susp- spaghetti. Talking sauce and fucking dongs. Oh, Go. this week, my mother made a sauce. Hey, you got to shit. She put the onions in last. I had a stuffed manicotti that was the size of my fucking fanjul. <laughs> fanjul. You get it. I'm fucking pop. Uh, uh, the thing I used to do to Vecchione all the time that would legitimately suck him off. Just blow his <laughs> big dick. I would uh, always joke around that Italian women made excellent lovers and it would get him very angry. <laughs> Why? Oh, That's really? a compliment. I, no, I know, but the way I was saying it, oh, it, was, really? it was to like, you know, I was, I was trolling. I dated an Italian woman uh, for a while. Around okay. uh, 2009 ish. Yeah. <laughs> and we were making out one time, and she had like stubble. What? Like, yeah. Uh, like a, that was a man, baby. Like yeah. on her, on her yeah. neck. <laughs> like black stubble. She goes, I did I did that. I met a Greek girl at a red light one night. What? <laughs> you heard me. Is that a John Cougar Mellencamp lyric? No. I met a Greek girl at a red light. One night. <laughs> Come on, baby. Get to walk away <laughs> with me. Oh, she had just lived the diner and she's diving down the street. Greek people in diners. <laughs> our our Mellencamp impressions are shit. And shit. I took her Total I took shit. her back to my place when I lived with the mentally uh, retarded. Um sure. and in stereo. We were kissing. <laughs> And I felt stubble, but I thought it was me. So she came over the next night, and I shaved really good, like flawless. There was no. Oh, I thought you were about to and say then, you shaved her. <laughs> it's like, no, I shaved. I shaved, but the next night she still had it. So I was like, it was her. Then I felt like her lower back near her ass crack, and there was hair coming up oh, from her asshole. Yeah, yeah. I when I first Yuck. when I had my oh, yeah. first herpes outbreak on yeah. Christmas morning. Yeah, it was just a mess, like a bloody mess. It looked like somebody took a cheese grater Jeez. to my dick. It was just you got it on Christmas bloody. morning. Yeah, are we getting are, are we getting demonetized? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Huh? We're good. Okay. Oh, okay. oh good. good. Well, Merry Christmas, <laughs> Joe. You're fucking disgusting. Oh, it was redder than his hat. It was. <laughs> it looked like he went down the chimney and the fire was lit. Hello. But um, Oof. I thought my first thought was like, well, she had a shaved pussy. But maybe it's like skin burn Mm-mm. as though you rub your dick on her like push. You yeah. can do it. That's fun. I've done that before. It's like a little, really? app- that's a little like a little appetizer. Feels like your dick is like a robber and it jumped over a, yeah. a barbed wire fence. I, I but, got hit. I got bit by the dog. But you don't, like, you don't rub every side of it on there. No, no, you don't. It was do like it once around. It. Yeah, you yeah. did it a nice and even once around. It was. I uh, actually licked one one time and it felt like licking a cat tongue. Yeah. Mm. You get a little sandpaper, baby. <laughs> it got stuck. It was like. Oh. I always like the ones that oh. are smooth. And then you you go back and you're like, whoa, <laughs> you're like, Gee, those little spikes. <laughs> They're like the, you know, when you re- return a car Wait, and you can't back back out. You understand how juvenile us three are. We've been doing this for fucking 20 years. Sure. Talking about uh, vaginas and no. and where they're where... so interesting. <laughs> Do you ever get like you want to kill yourself sometimes? Yes. Do you feel that way. Oh yeah. Because I'm like I want to make art. I want to be an artist you're... and talk about the human condition. You're gay. And then I'm like, would you eat your dad's jizz on a yeah. Wednesday? <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like I'm really moving the needle on some things. And then I'm like <laughs> I don't know. I think if I could hide stuff in my butthole, I would. I'm like, Can I tell you why? Because we're comedians. Yeah. That's it. That's the show. That the actor part, you, you know, actors. Someone said to me, "Are you scared of uh, of what saying the wrong thing?" Nope. That's yeah. what act. 
Actors have to be scared of something. Yeah, because they, they have to hope for the next opportunity to, act, to like work. And then we can just go yeah. deal with criminals yeah. that work we, out of malls. What if we yeah. want to <laughs> They are criminals. Club owners are the worst. They're like, They're all worst. Right, I'll give you money now. And then they go, no, I don't give you money. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What do yeah. I got to do? I'll do a podcast where I eat my own shit. They're almost worse than managers. I'll give you, give me 10% yeah, do it. for hooking, do making it. a call. I'll fucking do it. <laughs> but you guys are actors. You're yes, you are too. So are you. Now I am. But so. Yeah, but you've always but been I'm an actor. I'm like a higher level than of- you guys. <laughs> so that's why it's like. But Here it comes. Aren't you guys. Well, <laughs> Here I it comes. I think if so far, if we're going by box office draw, mm-hmm. I got you both beat. But I think. What do you mean? As far as selling tickets? No, box office oh. it being on something that's like a popular show or a movie. I don't, I don't think know. so. Oh, yeah, we're close. Dude, I was on Torgasm after Sopranos. No, but that. Oh, Sopranos. That's Dude, on, I was on oh. HBO, mother. No, you're on think, Showtime. Yeah, you're right. That's a little. That's, that's Canadian little, football. Yeah, dude. I was on uh, Doom, God. Doom, Doom. I was on HBO, dude. I mean, so was I, but on that was prime just for my stand up. Sopranos. That was just a, you know, HBO's. No. Yeah, but that was. Nobody watched no that. No one watched that. Nobody watches HBO now. No, I'm you... talking about HBO. God, it hurts more with your caterpillar eyebrow. The present. Ooh. I, and people don't know this. Now that you're into Hollywood, yeah, we got you a human being. Now that you're... It was a New York film. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> people, Joe shot a movie. Yes, it's a little bit hush. It's eight millimeters. Little, oh, he little, he fucks a lady and kills her. Yeah. It's all on his iPhone. And Robert is also it's a snuff. in the film. I'm in the film. But it's was... shot beautifully. Yes. yes. I was very excited to be a part of it. Yeah. We were too. Um, we wrote the part I, for you. I was purposefully uh, uh, kept out of production. And why? We're here to talk about it tonight. Oh, good. I had a similar movie in production um, that Joe knew about. We just wanted somebody. I we wanted st- actors with more. I had Stephen Wright skill. directing it. That, right. that hurts. We you had, knew that I went. Uh, Stephen Wright directing wasn't going to take seven years to fucking. That's why it. we're still in production. Um, and Dan. On the next take. <laughs> I need you to sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I love this is what I love about you because I don't do voices. Yeah. I will just come up with it and I'll go, Dan, and you'll take over and he'll just be like, mm, Dan. Because yeah. <laughs> he's an actor. Dude. I, yes, I'm so an actor too. Keep calling me the A word. We're going to have some fucking problems. <laughs> I mean, bro. he's more of an actor than a comedian now. Oh, Absolutely. fuck you, both of you. Of that course. screen just turned off. Do you do comedy? Still? Yes, yeah, I like do. I was gonna, in fact, I, I was going to throw this at him, but this is for comedians. Yeah, you I have, th- I have this new one for you. This yeah. is the actor bomb. Great, Diana. let me see that. That's for you. Hey, yeah. this is. It's like a Razzie. This, this is for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, Spazzy. <laughs> fuck you, dude. Yeah, I'll be at the Orlando <laughs> Improv. Yeah, <laughs> Lando Improv. Woof. What are you shooting something down there? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing down there? I'm doing there a pilot. Piece? What are you doing? Uh, interstitial show for uh comedy digital fuck you <laughs> what's the present because i don't have much time i mean oh, i want to yeah, be able to re- i want to have time to return it if uh if it stinks well is it scratch tickets no <laughs> i don't want your stupid bandana <laughs> i'm out of it's your a, stupid game it's a spazzy <laughs> well because you're a director not a director i didn't but a, direct oh, writer, i wanted to you're direct. Du- you're you're look you're an ep yes I, hang on i'll tell them what that is executive producer yeah um i've been an ep before too um, EP. How'd that, how'd that go? It was well. It's good. Was it on your special? <laughs> it was good. Yes, my live from the village underground. Anyways, <laughs> I mean, dude, we're together, and you're turning on me. Sorry. Yeah, I love it. Um, <laughs> fucking. Yeah, well, I'm about yes, to give I, you a present. I executively produced it. Yes. yes, because you're in the movie. You, God, we you, get it. You you're wrote high it. Profile Hollywood now. You wrote it. Mm-hmm. Yes, and you EP'd it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you had a big. Uh, it was part of it. It was funded by human trafficking. I'll tell you the whole thing right now. Yeah. I'll blow this whole thing up. Why you think I got a beard? I've been digging, Robert. Does everything have to be so jokey? We're talking about film. Sorry, I'm right being now. a comedian. I know you guys are <laughs> sucking each other off in some weird verbal sixty nine. Let's think about film. That's, Whoa! You know, what? Is that a purse? Did I you get him a purse? No, I, that's for his next project. I mean, this is too nice. What is this? It's a purse. Yeah. Who wrapped for, it for all your la- for all your lady recipes? Those are uh, okay. I mean, can you open I mean, that for him? Yeah, well, you like a Hogan. Get a trainer next movie. <laughs> yeah, this is those pads are just of paper. Pa- open it up. What? This is um. Open it up. No, don't just. This is blank paper. Just open it up. That's what it is. Oh, this is the thing. Turn it over. Turn it over. What? Yeah. Wow. Open it up. This is gorgeous. Yeah, open it up. This that is, is a lovely nice. coin purse. That is. Oh, my God. That is a, a, a gold fold. And this is gorgeous. The guy made that for you, and it has your. It, wow. 
Oh my God. And it holds your scripts and your notes. So the next project you're on, you won't be like, hey, where's my script? Where's my thing? You keep it right in there. Wow. And this you can is take gorgeous. notes uh, as you're shooting or acting or whatever you're doing, EPing. And uh, it folds up. And there you go. And you can put a pen up in the top in the front there. Oh, I see. No, the other way. No, it folds like closes yeah. like this. And you put a front, you put a pen, look, right in the front there. Let me see. Right here, look. Right up in here. Your pen goes uh, right in here. Right oh, that's the best that it all just fell out. <laughs> this is incredible. There's nothing better than someone showing somebody how something works and it just fucking tumbling. And oh, my go. God. Hey, you can see I this folds that. over. Son of a bitch. There you go, buddy. Yeah, that, that moves. Oh, fuck it. Wow. You like that? Yeah. Now I'm an actor. Yeah. 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 This is great. Thanks, Bob. I love it. You love it. Good. And thank you for uh, putting me in the movie, Joe. Yeah, because the other thank guy you. didn't want you in. I, yeah, I really thank put. you for putting me in the movie. <laughs> And thank you for having me in something that you've done. I mean, this is just mean now. Thank you <laughs> and for I appreciate you me. choosing me. I, I appreciate you finally coming to the house, too. That was nice of you. Well, I was finally invited to the fucking house. You had to shoot a movie to get me to your house. What house? His house. See, I've never been over. To the apartment? Don't say it like you go over all the time. I mean, I've ate pizza there dozens of times. You've never been in the backyard for a party or anything. Yeah. Oh, my God. You do. You say you do parties. No, he came to one party. I used to sun out Ew. there. What does that mean? A tan. I'm just going to get a tan. What did you tan? <laughs> just my body. Yeah, your body. What's up with the beard? I didn't shave. What's up with the Terry Funk scars on your face? Dude, I'm 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 amateur wrestling. In Dude, I would love to go to some middle school gymnasium to watch you power bomb a guy through a fo folding table. <laughs> I oh. like the beard. Thanks, dude. I think you could play Revenant too, the Tom would, Hardy part. I would love to. I would I'm, love to. We'll talk. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, I, oh, because you're because you're a guy now. Oh, I'm like an EP. I he's an EP. I, yeah. He's a shaker. Let me put, a, let me write it down. Oh my god! Yeah. Please do. Please uh, awkwardly unfold that. Do you thing. have a pen? Please um, use that. No. You don't have to very think, impractical. But it's also thing. good for comedy to t write your jokes. It's also a good the thing a thing to put in your desk and forget about for seven years. You're such you're an asshole. I am an he, asshole. Why are you doing this? Because the beard changes you, Bobby. You're a heel now. <laughs> I'm heel Dan, <laughs> and, are, and that's not even real leather. That's I right. know real leather, Robert Kelly. I've had it around my waist for the last five years, and it's playing gold. Beard Dan, don't take no shit. It's lovely, and I think this is real Dan talking. You are going to absolutely Beard, thrive with that. Beard Dan makes his yeah. heel. I like heel Dan. Ah, oh, shit. Do Dude. you like it? Yeah, him not being you know able to do it. To Can I show it. you how to do it? it. You're fucking such a dumb dumb. It just it. doesn't work. Dude. And it's got our sides from our scene. It, I put that in there. That's the sides no. from the scene. That's really right there. Cool. So what you would do is you put your guys' love scene. Now, you guys filmed that completely nude. Am I correct? <laughs> we didn't film a love scene. We'd be, we'd I heard it's uh, the first missionary homosexual you, sex shown in a movie. In no. Some time. Uh, Strangers by the Lake. Mm. I told you yeah. it was a very, I, I tell you, it was very sweet, funny. Mm. I mean, real movie. It was yeah. the scenes were really great. Moving. Well written. I'm very funny. excited to see it in reality. Yeah, man. It was look it, it's not uh, you know, the fucking hangover. But <sighs> what it has, a movie. It has that movie. I mean, it's <laughs> am <ridiculous>. I right? <laughs> it's just joke after joke. You can't stop. Here's what I like about you're this. You're falling movie. in love with Bradley <laughs> Cooper. You're falling in love with Zach Galifianakis. Ed Helms <laughs> is there just to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like that movie? I love The Hangover. No, do you? Yeah. No, <laughs> Hangover's yeah. great. Yeah, you know, I, don't know. I love Todd Phillips. He's fucking awesome. It's a great premise. Yeah. You know, you, you, you recount. Right, so what does that mean? Is that how you guys speak now that you're producers? <laughs> you wake up. You... Heel, Beard Dan is back? Oh, dude. Dude, Heel Dan is oh, evil. Oh, premise oh, is a movie term. Premise is a comedy term. He's changed. Premise. Yeah, you've changed. You, ever yeah, since when you say, ever since when you say it out sounds very Tribeca. Yeah, when you rented houses upstate, uh, big houses. You're trisexual. Look, what are these <laughs> shoes? <laughs> what, studio, right, what kind of studio exec are you? Yeah, what do you, why do you have... Why do Guys, you, what if gym? I told you we're bringing back Knight Rider <laughs> with Michael B. Jordan? You know what these pants are? Why do you have slacks on? Yeah, I want to yeah, know they're not slack. slacks. Dude, I, slack. Can I do an ad for my podcast? What podcast? are they? What are they? They're called... Uh, Dick Van Dykes? Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're called Rec Life or something like that. Yeah. 
and they're sweatpants. Feel these. It's unbelievable. I'm going to sell you guys on these. No, Use fuck promo that. code Tuesday. You, and, you and Nate. They look like slacks. You and Nate Bargetti are both wearing expensive sweatpants and it fucking upsets. Uh, are they it's stretchy? Me. Can I wear them? Are they stretchy? Yes, they stretch. And you type in your weight. I'm telling you. They, For one of your Where are they? Are you going to wear them? Promo at one of your... code Tuesdays. They're online. I'm not using promo code Tuesdays. I, I will never do that. Are you going to wear it to your wrestling match? Is that going to be your bottom? You can work out in these pants or wear them to the comedy cellar. Yeah. Oh. Stand up, yeah. let me see them. Yeah, let, 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 let's get let a let walk. See you, get your purse. Oh, I mean, they got zippers for pockets, though. You trash, you're garbage. Yep. I mean, oh, look at your belly. Oh my god, you, Damn, you know dude. that's fucking Star Trek pants. You got fucking toddler belly. Oh my god, dude, put the shirt down. It's disgusting. Yeah, those pants, I'm out. It's disgusting. Yeah, those are Star Trek pants. You're like an engineer on Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. You're, what are the shirts that die all the time? The red shirts? Yeah, you're a red shirt. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Don't even, Freshman. don't even fucking go there. You know what? I don't want this now. Whoa! I'll take, I will take it back. I can scrape that joke. Right <laughs> <laughs> just put a different name on it. Oh, I got get fat up there. Did you? Were you just oh, eating? Oh, dude, God, we, we were living eating. a Hollywood life. It was so bad. I gained like fifteen pounds on the on the, on the. Side. I was on the road eating, working, just fucking honing jokes, getting in there with the crowd. You know, well, you guys were out filming, living that Hollywood life. <laughs> You guys having quiet evening. Are you acting uh, right dude. now? Yes. That scene was called Guy Who Sucks. It's Guy Alone, and this wasn't what I thought it would be. <laughs> I guess uh, this is billions. Why, this is Wiley Coyote running off the cliff. Billions didn't pack the room the way I thought it would. Oh no, that was HBO. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I thought it was great up there. We were we were eating. I mean, I would go. How big? How we big woke we, up in the morning, went into the water, straight into the just lake, just swam. Came back up, got ready, showered. My baby girl went to the set because EP has to go early. I gotta be there, you know. I went, I went fishing, we, caught a little fish. That's awesome, many fish, and I got like seven. And then, damn, I we I'd go, we'd work together, do a scene. I'd come back, he'd stay because he's you know, EP. just just if you could, if you wouldn't mind me, James Liftoning you, was it what you would you just open to each other? Would you just well, you know, what it, was the energy on set? Here's the thing: the energy is when set. you're doing <laughs> when you're doing graphic gay sex. Is it hard? I, Hello? Yeah. That's not enough money. I hate I hate, I hate producing. You went like this, he shut the phone off. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you would have to, would you have to be there first thing in the morning every oh, day? Joe, yeah, all day, every day. <laughs> he loved it, though. I was you know, so I happy. Producer Joe's more of a heel than bearded Dan. Uh, it's, Joe, it's the life you choose, you know what I mean? It's what we, it's not it's what we do. It's what you Hollywood elites do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out there <laughs> on the road, yeah. shaking hands, pressing. That's what that beard is. That's a fucking flesh. road beer. I go, do you guys, you guys, can you believe about these vaccine mandates? Come on! And they're all like, ah! <laughs> fucking killing, dude. <laughs> Soda is fucking off the charts. He's, hot. Right, He's hot today. He's hot today. Just coming that. off of two bonfires, baby. <laughs> Dan's got big stuff going on too. He's what got a radio that? show. Well, it's all kinds it's of on Serious X. First of all, Action Talk 103. Bon, uh, bon, bon, bonfire is killing it. Thank you. Okay, love bonfire. Thank love you. Are you bonfire. acting again? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what's happening because you're his producer. So now I can't just fucking think. I love bonfire. I yes. love the show. I filled in for him a couple times. Did oh, unbelievable. Nice. I love unbelievable. Jay and him, great guys to talk to. Great show to go on. You know what they do? They put you over. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is when you go on a radio show, you want to be put over. Yeah. You don't want to have to fight for your fucking spot. You just. They put you right over it. We're, right. we're not always good at it, but with you, we're great at you're it. You're pretty good. Yeah. So, but here's the thing. Um, and you're on Billions. Season five out right now. We got two episodes left in season five. And now, are you are, you, are you still on it? Yeah. <laughs> I am on it. I'm in season six. Are Whoa! You, so you're coming back in season six. Oh, yeah. I thought you were dead or something. Yeah. No, dude, you don't die, dude. You just make more money. <laughs> this is and you become a girl <laughs> or you get shamed now did you up. transition into a man on season six is that what the beard is dude listen bud that I've been in LA on some TRT just doing roids getting big <laughs> working on my body I'm gonna enter the MCU I'm looking at playing Ant-Man's helper Ant-Man's help or what? Who? Beetle Boy? You don't know, dude. <laughs> Just wait. Just wait and see. Dude, you, you can't be in fucking anything. We'll see. 
Oh, my God. No, no, I don't. Do you have any movies coming up? No. Do you have any gigs coming up? No, I was very excited to hear about Joe's movie because he disappeared and made it like all at once. Mm -hmm. He was just gone out of the scene. And Joe's a scenester. I'm a scene. I'm a scene guy. Yeah, he's around in the scene. And then all of a sudden there's there's winds blowing that, Mm -hmm. you know, this cast is unbelievable. The material, (laughs) the material. And of course, famous director. A movie starts with. Can you say who the director is? Material. Mm. Can you say who the director is? Did you sign an NDA? Some people have NDAs. <laughs> no, I don't. You didn't have an NDA? No, I didn't. Oh, dude, shit. I love Bobby just blowing past some legalities <laughs> of your movie because he's your Was friend. Was I supposed to sign an NDA? I'm not sure. Dude. Dude, did you sign one? I didn't sign anything. Yeah. He's the boss. You're the EP. Boss. He's the boss of bosses. I, shit. I, well, write I mean, the look, shit they sign. First of all, thing, it, it, people know about it already. Who knows? Oh Dude, my you're God. seen in public. People saw it. I know there was a, uh, what is it called? A scalper? What's the guy? That's a ticket scalper? With the camera. Oh, a paparazzi? Paparazzi. paparazzi. Scalper. Yeah, it was a what the paparazzi. fuck? What are you talking about? Fucking the guy tried to sell you two tickets off. to the Mets? <laughs> yeah, duh, fucking. I'm, fucking, I'm on fucking set. Well, this guy's asking if I want to go fucking Salon, the Giants. Buying salad. Yeah, what do you got? Two together? <laughs> Joe breaks the scene. <laughs> I love that. I do the character. You just do it better. <laughs> <laughs> but two together? <laughs> it's, uh, it's all very exciting. I don't know. I don't want to say too much. Are you going to shop at the big Why studios? would it not say anything? You can say. You can, I mean, you can say a little bit. I'm I mean, saying you were there. We had a great time. We were in Lake George. Yes. Jidge. It was a it was a spiritual experience. I didn't want to come back. I got to change my life, guys. Why? I got to let me let me lean in for this. Get in. Why? Dude. I was up in Lake George. I mean, I'm 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 thinking about buying a house. Whoa. Where? Possibly Monmouth County, Monmouth County, Jersey Mammoth? Shore. Why would you go to Jersey Shore? It's spectacular. The people are assholes, and there's the people. Wow. Is that who you, know? you want as your neighbor? Is that you know how far it is to get to the fucking hard is hour and a half, dude. Your airport is a ferry. You're not going to live there primarily. That's like a vacation. Your airport. We turn my. What am I fucking? uh, You're an executive producer over here. Start acting like it. Your airport is fucking Jersey Air Newark Airport. Which, by the way, let me tell you, I fly into because of my love and uh, not good. Not good. Okay. And number two, Not it's everything. an hour and a half into the city without traffic. Yeah. No, no, now, with traffic. It's no traffic coming. Ferry. In. There's a ferry. There's a train. You're a ferry. Stop Dude. it. Just because you have a scar on your face does not mean you look like David Ferry. I meant the ferry with wings, like a happy ferry, not the ferry. Stop it. What? You stop it, scarred Bobby. (laughs) But the beach, the ocean, it heals. Uh, There's a beach right there. You turned into a real fruit at that lake. (laughs) I don't know what that lake did to you. Dude, the ocean, the nature, the city (laughs) is a toilet. It's Damn. full of life. It's, you're not in the city. You're in Hoboken or whatever the Stop fuck. Stop it. I'm Where, you you Where do you live? 23rd. You live oh, yeah. in 23rd? Oh, yeah. You moved back, but you were gone for so long. I yeah, was right over the water. You live with an 11. He's one of these He's guys great. that tuck tailed and ran. I was across the, the river over here every yeah. day. You, no, you ran. The you river. did run. I fucking run. You run. You ran. I ran to you love. You stopped. Uh, I can't do billions anymore. We have to cut everything down. I ran to love. And then you stopped doing comedy. And I filled oh. my heart, and I came back to the city a better man. <laughs> you got a, a dog. Did you get a dog? Got a sweet little Oh, uh, what a God. You're giving me shit about being in the ocean. The ocean heals. We can't. Uh, uh, whatever you organism. queef, stay we wet. Come from the we came from a river. No, we're organisms. We yeah. come out. You gotta get. I you walk. Dude, the fucking the alien ocean. was over a river. Put his stuff in the river. Are you talking about Prometheus? Yes. What's up, son? Dude, I love that. Uh, uh, Prometheus. In this the sounds alien. like a film. I'm here. I'm, I'm sensing <laughs> Prometheus. Oh, I, I, wanted, I, hate I, wanted, it. I just so instantly wanted to throw Prometheus, something. Prometheus, an him. alien comes from uh, yeah, lake, a river. A, I like it. E-P, it E.P. Joe stinks. But we got to make it all black. I'm down with that. What, the movie or the aliens? Yeah. Uh, Aliens aliens can't be black. Both are going to sell tickets. But so I get a house down the shore. You walk, you jog on the- But you're going to live there and then just come to the city every day? What are you in the city a couple days? What do you think? You're you're not going to come to the city at all. You're right, because you're going to be- Here's what's going to happen. You're going to be on the road Thursday through Saturday, get home Sunday. You're not going to want to come to New Joke Night on Monday. But not everyone has to come to As a guy that lives in the city, and again, I'm up on 323rd Street. I'm walking down here because I'm living it. I'm living the city. have the foundation. You guys both obsessed. retired. We've been doing comedy. I didn't, for, I'm in every You're fucking, retired. Go you're, fuck your mother. Listen. <laughs> that's disgusting. I love Trish. I, I, I would you, never that, do she's that. beautiful. Don't Thank say that's you. disgusting. Um, you know, dude, you're, I'm in the city. You're upstate. Motherfucker, I'm not upstate. I'm a half hour to stay. You're I'm a half, half hour. hour. Uh, I'm a half hour. Let me finish this. Half hour. I'm a half hour to stay. Half hour. 
going to seventy eight Street Bow Basin. If you flew a jet, what are you going? You're not going to stand up New York. You're not. Joe, like Joe's going to move to rural Pennsylvania. Barely come in the city. <laughs> the Dude, you're going full Bob Marley. Thirty with all re- yeah. due respect. <laughs> Maine, Maine, Maine Bob Marley, Marley or Maine Bob Maine. Marley. Well, yeah. here's the thing. We with the Jersey Shore. Yeah. What are you gonna do? St- <laughs> you're gonna be the Bob Marley of the Jersey yeah. Shore. Hey guys, come on! Don't they Vinny's. already got a Sebastian. Uncle Vinny's yeah. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Exactly. Come see the King of the Shore. I got a residency. Joe's like, here's what you do. You start a, you start a, uh, <laughs> you start a room in the jer- like a Monday, Tuesday, but whatever. You will never want to do oh, that. Oh my god! Like, like Giannis did at Bar Four. Yeah, when he let me tell you exactly what, what this reminds me of. When Napier gets he moved to L. A. He, oh yeah, that didn't work out well. But, well, exactly. When Nate left the city, no, but, he's done shit since. Yeah, because he got no, because he got a deal back here in the city. He yeah. keep coming back. Yeah. Jimmy Fallon, so, and then he moved to Nashville. Nashville. How's yeah, but he, he was doing? already successful. Listen, Nashville's fine. If you said I'm moving to Nashville, I'm be not fine. successful. Great. I'm successful. You're successful, but you're I, successful. Jersey Shore, kinda. There's no scene in the Jersey. I make fourteen hundred a week at a comedy club. <laughs> But when Nate was moving to LA, he sort of went like this. What? Oh, the folks at home, that's Christ. a joke. Yeah. Listen, I you, make twelve. You <laughs> listen, <laughs> but you, you, but you, you won't you, start a room. You t- go, go. You won't start a room. You're Nate, not when start Nate a moved room. to LA, he was Who like, ta- "Am I Nate? When Nate? Am I Nate? No. You're not gonna go. You're, you're, you're gonna, Nate. you're gonna, no disappear. but you wear the same pants. You'll disappear. You'll become the yeah. jogger. That oh, that's a guy who jogs on the beach. That was in that movie once. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm gonna keep an apartment in the city. Guaranteed, he moves out there, gets. Uh, a Tuesday night show at a sea shack. Yeah. Yes, and yeah. then his Uncle Vinny's is right there. And then you're gonna try Vinny, to lure, you're gonna try to lure Bobby and I down with oysters and crab. No, I don't guys. lure. He lures. I don't lure. You and lure. Dave. How do I lure. fucking you lure. lure? You lure. With you what? Lure. You've what do I lure? lure? You've lured before. What's a lure? I've been oh, you gotta get I give. No. I give. I've been lured. I've been lured. given. I've absolutely I've lured. Given. Suarez has been lured. Gabby's not even here because she got lured. I give, dude. You do give. I've given you. You do. I gave. Absolutely. You can give and lure. I can't. give. You give and lure. I don't fucking lure. You lure. You lure a lot. What did I lure? I need 30 seconds. Go. Somebody, some stenographer, you know what, dude, freak fan, can pull up at least eight minutes of clips going, dude, you got to move to Westchester. You got a yard. I got a yard. I got a yard. The yard. The yard. But yard. also, you, you want us in Westchester. If it was your choice, I in Westchester. Pause. Luring. Pause. I would never you're luring. in a million years want any of you near me. Well, I'm moving up. I don't know. You better not. I'm coming for you. No, you're not. Are you really? <laughs> Where are you moving? Terrytown. That's where I got married. That's some of the fucking best just the boys. I'm gonna tell you are all you the pizza places. Are. No, I but I want there. to. <laughs> Terrytown's awesome. I do want to. Terrytown, and it's I only it. it's a 35 minute express to the city. Done and done. You'll Dang. never come. You won't come. Duh, duh, you're duh, talking duh, duh. about you're talking about the shore. It's another hour. You have to take fucking like Bobby's a regular gonna train. Into, Bobby's gonna give me into gardening. Yes. I'm going to make your own tomatoes. Here's oh the thing. God. Your Listen. dog's going to stay with us. Oh, Our dog will stay with you. Sweet Myrtle you and Noodles. Yeah. And friends. Boring. Give me 40 seconds. All right. So <laughs> it takes, well, if I leave the comedy cell at 1130 on a fr- Tuesday, yeah. it takes like 50 minutes to get home. Yes. This would be another yeah. 20 minutes, but in my car, instead of on the subway. Sure. Right, we're, we're not assholes. Just say car. You don't have to do pants. Yeah, you're on a car, podcast. Instead yeah. of with some crazy homeless going, give me your soul, you fucking rat. You know what I mean? It's hard <laughs> out here in the city. That guy still works the entry. And then the Ocean, I could just dip. You don't live in the city. You live in fucking a Greek town. As a former resident, (laughs) it's one of the five. That's my point. Fucking respect. Listen, (laughs) I want some health. I want some ocean, some (laughs) salt. If you have a me again, (laughs) (laughs) that because that works and it bugs me. You know what I got called out for last night? I used the the expression "and how," (laughs) and Katie didn't believe me. It was an expression. I went and how, and she goes, "What the fuck did you just say?" Uh, And no, you're mad about that. I'm glad. I don't like and how. I don't like Ann Howe yeah. either. I like Terrible. it. I'm bringing it back. Uh, Jersey Shore will not work out. You're going to be stuck in traffic you, four times dude, and you're going to stop coming in. You, you, listen, Voss, you're going to be, listen, Voss lives out there. No, he lives in like central New yeah, Jersey. But yeah, but he lives and out he there. he comes in. Yeah. Because I'll be sick of being home. I'll go, let me go do some spots dude. and I'll get like a nice place in the city. Yeah. How, what? Siri, how long does it take to uh, get to Jersey? Uh, what was it? Point Pleasant, right? No, I'm not going to Point Pleasant. That's like halfway where, down where? the state. Where are you going? Red Bank. Red Bank. Jersey, Beautiful. give me directions to Red Bank. And there's a uh, ferry. Hey, Siri, give me directions to Red Bank. Red Bank's beautiful. Oh, Siri, could you work once in your fucking life? And then there's Damn. Panasquan. One hour. 
from here. Bang. No, it, no, it one is. hour. Hit start. See if one it hour. goes start, one hour right now. Night. Okay, one hour. Bang. It's I'll be home at 9.52. Night, guys. I'm home at 9.52, and that's in my car. Listen to some jazz or some jizz. Oh, God. Whatever the fuck. I'll listen to who, whoever you want me to listen to. Cat you, what are you going to do? Get a house on the beach? Oh, that's a few great. blocks on the beach. I'm worried about climate change. A few yeah. blocks in. What? So you're not going to be on the beach. You're moving down walk there to the to beach. not even be on the beach. You can't oh, be on yeah. the beach. You can walk to the beach here. You can. It's disgusting. What, what is a beach? About? Dude, there's a beach on the, uh, the west side. The East River. It takes me 45 minutes. There's a, it's not a beach. There's a beach on the East River. Yeah, right, yeah. East River Beach? Yeah. Oh, yes, dude, I sun down there all the yeah, time. Yeah, Sandy Beach, it's dude. It's a glass beach. Yeah, it's, it's all called broken East, bottles. East River Sandy Beach. Have you ever been to that down at the water in Astoria? You see all the broken glass. Yeah, of course. Down. I go there all the time because I want some sea. You're never going to do hell. it, and you're never going to make it down there. You'll quick. What if I get Joe, a summer home? Joe, I got one word to change your life, and I'm going to say it. It's two words. It's going to change your life forever. I already How, have anal sex. House boat. Like MacGyver. Yes. Dun, yes. Dun, dun, yes. Dun, dun, how about this? Dun, dun, how about a sailboat on the on the west side? Hey, Bobby. That's more expensive than a house in New Jersey. No, it isn't. It's we need some place for Joe to live so the the boat can be there. If house. you get the marina, it's eight hundred dollars a month, a thousand bucks a month for the marina dockage. I can't afford that. What? How are you gonna get a fucking house? I haven't looked at the prices yet. Dude, yeah. the prices on the, uh, by the beach. It's yeah. seven bills. Which concentrate on moving into Manhattan. Now you know what's going to happen. Someone's going to be like, dude, I'm a real estate guy down in Point Pleasant. I'll get, hook you up. And this guy's going to wind up down at, on the fucking Jersey Shore, three blocks from the beach. I love it. And he's never going to, we're never going to see this him. old salty dog. I'm going to have to go down there to uh, get him back into the game. But don't you, with spots, and you guys know you have a base. We've been doing comedy for 20 years. You don't need to do three So you're sets picking the Jersey Shore to be a base? No, I'm saying the base of com- I've done fifteen thousand sets. Yeah. Right. Plus, I'm gonna retire comedy. I'm doing one more special. I'm out. It's enough already You're with done. The dick jokes. You're done. Eh, that's fine. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna uh, paint? Podcast. Maybe I'll paint. Make a couple four films. I'd like to make a few. I'd like to make ten films total. Oh, then, what are you fucking? Oh, I swear to God, I've never been more well, I am violently a, enraged by. Uh, well, I am a QT. I hate it. Why are your glasses fogging up? You weirdo. Yeah. These are movie glasses, and they <laughs> suck. And I haven't been able to, I haven't had a chance to switch to my other glasses. Wait, why? Oh, they're movie glasses, so you won't. Use my character. Use the bandana. No, I don't want to do it. It's a, it's a spazzy. <laughs> but, oh, so that's, so it doesn't <laughs> reflect on the texting. thing. What? Right. Dude, Who's this, texting? This guy. He's terrible. Run Get off all, your phone. Run dude. back some old you know what I got to run back because I got a nine o'clock spot because I'm doing spots. Right. Everyone said I was going to change. Well, I already did my spot. Everyone called me corporate Dan. I'm out here with a full beard saying it like it is. Hold on. Do that. Do your line again. I, you know, I, you got, I got to go do my spot. We, we all did spots. Yeah. I hope you have spots on your lungs, you fucking jerks. There it is. <laughs> that's old school Joe. Old school Joe. I like it. But seriously, I hope you're okay as a hypochondriac because that's a lot to... <laughs> no, I don't give a shit about spots in my life. How long is your spots? You think I have spots? No, <laughs> d- around the corner. Is it 20 <laughs> oh, minutes? I don't know. 15 minutes? Just like, wondering how long Bobby, back. And I, Bobby and I are going to vamp. This way you guys just, can, fuck uh, you. You're coming back. Come back. I'll Leave try your phone to here. First of all, I don't like Dan. Is sc- oh, you're scared to be with me alone? That's what can't do one on one. I felt that. You've too. abused me. What are you doing? Bobby, Stop I said you. You caught me a fucking lure. I love you. Fuck you. You lure. You Lure's lure. not you're bad. You're a lawyer. Now, why do you hey, think Joe. lure's bad? Lure is lure. Let me have your phone and then come back for it. Yeah, come That's back insane. for the. You have your phone. What do you want to see? Nudes of my. Why wife are you afraid to be alone with me? Not at all. I, Why are you? Joe, fu- I barely. I don't see Joe. He's out making movies. I don't movies. see Joe either, except on the set. It's good seeing yeah, you. Yeah, we saw leave you. your phone. Leave your gift, dude. Why leave would I phone. leave my phone? You fucking. Because you're not going to come back. Leave your gift. I got to record my set. Leave your no, gift. I will come back. I'll get but Liz to send you a video. They might be running behind, and now that I'm an EP. Well, let's ask. Let's ask. I can ask Liz. You guys text Liz. I'm afraid to. All right, we'll text. Yeah, can you text her and then I'll. Are you afraid to text Liz too? No, not at all. I love Liz. I love her too, but she makes me nervous. She does. Why does she make you nervous? Oh, she can be mean sometimes. All right, here we go. It's scary. She's outside. She's yell out the window. <laughs> oh, I got scratch tickets. You want a scratch ticket? Hell yeah. Set what? for life. I'm going to cancel my spot. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, dog. What's the deal? You got to come up with a deal before uh, you. Uh, uh, you get a quarter. Quarter? Like 25 cents? No, you get a quarter of the winnings. Minus the 10 bucks. So if it's a, she's not answering. 40%. All right, I got to go down there. Bye. Bye. I'm going to come back. But you know, I was going to give you this, but now I'm not giving you Yeah, this. that's for us. That's, now that. I'm not giving you No, no, that's, that. for the, that's for the boys who stay. You guys should have those in case. Dude, if I have career. If I win this, and you, I, you have a quarter. I'll, I'll be it. You get a quarter of that. 40%? No. 
A quarter, twenty five percent. No, I gotta go. I gotta 25. do a set because I'm a hustler. Yeah, I'm a hustler, baby. I hope you fall down the stairs. I do. I hope you fall down the stairs and that book fucking lands. In front oh of a my god, person. your old man pants. Oh, you fucking disgusting. Dick Van Dyke pants stink. He really looks like he's gonna fall over a fucking armoire. Could we scratch these? Scratch yeah. that. I don't have any chain. You guys got any quarters? I like here around. No, I don't, I don't mess around with fucking quarters. I can't believe fucking Joe. I mean that confidence, the gall. He's so happy though. Yeah, dude. I tell you that movie. I'm telling you, I'm excited to see the movie. He showed me one scene, and I'm very. He did not. Didn't show me any fucking scenes. Should become better friends with him. I try. He won't invite me over his house. That's because he treats you. He calls you the talent. What does that mean? It means he's a producer. He's gone, dude. He's too far gone. So <laughs> even Mark Norman says he's changed. Yeah, Mark Norman doesn't. He's not a real person. He goes. I've been computed to be friends with Joe. <laughs> he's different. Um, Shutting down. Does anybody have comedy? Nobody's listening to us over there. Does anybody have a no? Suarez quarter? is looking. Suarez is fucking busting his ass. Oh, he, Suarez getting fucking change out of his jeans is the worst thing. I got it, Mikey. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Oh. I got it. Thanks, buddy. He would you pull out a knife? Fucking Spanish guy. Look at that. Do you guys screw? Where'd you get a screw? Dude, that is fucking. All right, here we go. Right. I, I, you get a quarter. All right, you want to go first? You, you go get, first. Li, but you understand, you get. Do I get 20? a quarter of your money? You get a quarter of both. Oh hell yeah! Dude. All right, so that's you have you have a good chance. Vested. In why do you go? Why do we? Why don't we go at the same time? Okay. All right, ready? Yeah, go. Scratch numbers first. Yeah. Uh, winning numbers first. My winning numbers are twenty-five. I got twenty-two. Two. Nine. Sixteen. Twenty-five. Fourteen. Two. Nine. Twenty-three. Seven. Ten. You can win it. By the way, just to let everyone know who's listening and has no visual representation Oof. of what's happening. Yes. This is set for life. A five thousand dollar a week. A week. For life. How much do you how much is that you get? You get like, what do you have to do? You have to get your numbers. You have to match your numbers. So here, I'll read it to you. Okay, ready? Yeah, let's do this. Let's read this. I'm gonna read this. I'm a simple man. Things I'm need to be explained man. to me. Okay, ready? Ma I'm not a smart man. Mar ma 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 match. <laughs> All right. Match uh, you, maybe, any of your numers, okay, all in caps, to any of the six winning numbers, all in caps. Win prize shown, reveal a coin symbol. And win prize shown automatically. Rear star symbol and win 10 times prize Damn. shown. Damn. If prize one is life, win 5000 a week. Do you know Nate Bargetti's bit about this? About no, the story about the guy, and his, the guy and his family? No. It's one of my favorite stories of all time. What when you it? have him, next time you have him on the podcast, have him He'll go never in. be on this again. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's, ne he's never. Dude, he's so he doesn't even call me or I talk know. to me. And I think he, he actually walked by me on the street. <laughs> One night, I swear to God. Did you think it was a golf pro? No, I knew it was him. I I knew it was him. I knew it was, it was like him. Bobby. Don't even yeah. try it. Yeah, I smelled him. He smelled like fucking uh, pancakes and syrup. <laughs> <laughs> we next time you have him on, tell have him tell the story about the wedding he was yeah. at, where they gave somebody a gag one of these. Really? That says oh. it won, and the dude just walked out. He just acted like it. Oh my god. They knew it was a gag one. And he left like he just won. No, he left like he lost. He's like, all right, later, guys. And they're like, you were going to keep all that fucking money. Yeah. Uh, if, if you won right now, would you tell me? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Ready? What do you got? Did you win one? Go no. one at a time. Go one at a time. I'm going first row. Top row. All right. First row. Top row. No, no win. No win for Soder. I'm out. Uh, no, I got no win. Top row. No win. Top no row. win. Top row. Second row. Uh, second row. I got a addition. No win. I'm out. I got no win. Second row. Fuck this. Settle down, dude. We got no rows. Fuck Why this. Why not my, my fucking sister? Dan, be positive. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Third row. All right, Third go row. for it. Here we go. Here we go. Third row and oh, it's stupid and I fucking hate Shut it. Dan. This is Stop. stupid and I Dan, fucking hate it. Be positive. Last row. I didn't get shit. Last row. I didn't get shit. There's dude. no last row. That was it. Fuck this. Wait, now look before you get fucking carried away. I looked all over the fucking place, Bobby. <laughs> Why are you so negative? Because I'm telling you, things have changed. Oh, fuck. Your friends cut you out of Hollywood and you just fucking God can't damn stand it. it. I mean, we were so close. Look at all this bullshit. Mm, yeah. Hey, New York State Lottery, thanks for fucking us in the ass on a podcast. <laughs> Here's your dime back. Thing. You can have that. You know what? I appreciate it. I'm going to keep it in front of me as motivation. So um, anyways, somebody sent me something that was very interesting. Um, the cop, the, they, I can't say who it is because they told me not to say who it is. But they sent me something on Facebook. And I've always suspected this. And this is so fucking 
blatant. My name, my real name is Ricardo no, Aguilera. Not- I'll tell you the whole thing. I killed Dan Soder in 2007 <laughs> and took over his identity. I'm Argentinian. No, I come from a powerful family that is hell bent on violence and destruction. I did. That was not. I made myself into a silly man, hoping to get washed away into the comedy scene. But here we are. I will tell you this, Robert Kelly. You have just sent several dangerous people after you. Anyways, let's look into the file. (laughs) Louis J. Gomez is my bodyguard. He is my trusted assistant, Raphael. We're both from Buenos Aires. Robert, do what you will. But the Argentinian people know I am there for them. I uh, thought uh, from Buenos Aires. I am. That's in Argentina. Oh, is it? You fucking moron. I'm so sorry. I'm not yes, good. my grandfather has escaped Nazi. But that is not where my family's story That's where ends. I, uh, it's no. where it starts. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean. Re- what? You guys were to show us something? Is it a J.O. video? <laughs> Is it the business side uh, of the I want to talk to that guy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that guy's very. <laughs> Mr. Aguilera, I've seen some things, my friend. I always would love to do where, that. Where, 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 where did you grow up as a boy? Uh, on the shores. <laughs> on the shores of the ocean, watching the powerful sea push out things that he did no longer want, including my father, a simple shrimp. <laughs> Sailor. Sailor? What? <laughs> Ah, oh, dude, I'm a fucking idiot. You but, can only p- pretend to be smart where, for so long. Where did you did you go to school? Ah, uh, the streets taught me, my friend. <laughs> Everything I needed to know. I would learn from alley cats, from gangsters, <laughs> from city from city councilmen, until I was the most powerful man in Buenos Aires. Did you say? I'm sorry. Did you say you learned learned from alley cats? Alley cats <laughs> and street what? From street vendors, <laughs> and drug pushers. <laughs> And of course, the horse <laughs> teaching me to be an excellent lover. <laughs> and when, how old are you now? I am 48 years old. <laughs> 48? But I look a much younger man. Yes. Because of the love of my wife. Oh, you're married. Rosalita. Rose, Rosalita. She passed away several years ago. Oh, she's dead. A- asshole cancer. <laughs> she died very brutally, shitting out the love of me in a bloody little liquid mess. Where's your father? He's, I killed him myself. Is that, that's what you said the C took him away. My middle name is C. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to show me, dude? I'm not around for the executive producer. This was what, supposed to be an audition. What's your first? You guys told me I could come here and get naked on the couch. <laughs> what's your first name? I forgot it. I said it, and then I forgot it, or else I would have said it again. Um, Damn, pot really fucks your short-term memory. Dude, that was fucking so funny. Go well, ahead. Joe wasn't here, so it fucking's for bupkis. Well, I'm here. I know. You're my friend. What does that mean? I can shine my light in front of you. He's fucking Hollywood. <laughs> so I can't do anything Listen, for you? Dude, the fucking Billions train is in its last stop for old Danny Sones. <laughs> Got to jump to something else. Uh, you'll be fine. I know. What do you mean you know? I'm doing OnlyFans. Are you doing? What are you doing? Shoving stuff up my pee hole. <laughs> not even my butt. Oh, <laughs> God. I, you know how much money I'd make if I did that? Oh, you became like the horny Buddha. I just, I just became a dude. Exactly. Just dressing robes and then jack like, off. Robes. I, and I did my act <sighs> as I stuck stuff in my ass. Uh, <laughs> so then my wife was like, uh, you're being married. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on. Uh, hold shit. on. Okay, I'm going to do a little more. Anyways, uh, we were. Apple picking the other day. <laughs> You're doing your act as you shove giant uh, shit up your ass. What were you going to show me on Facebook? Well, you know, you Is know, it an ex- have lover? you ever seen? Uh, I'm going to ask you a question first. Have you ever seen commercials on TV and you're like, oh my God, they stole that? They stole that like bit. How? That's a bit. That's somebody's bit. Oh, yeah. And watched, it's like, I watched Family Guy take a Matt McCarthy bit like fucking nine years ago. Real, but like these commercials, yeah, I feel like have. To do it all the time. I always These, wonder about how they write them because they're usually so fucking corny. Well, I've seen guys in the back of the room at the cellar back in the day with no pets. What, like advertisers? I don't know who they were. They've kicked them out. Like at one time, they they they, do, they were like, "Get the fuck out of here!" And then a week later, it was like, "Pampers, what's women be shopping?" Well, dude, <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody sent me this clip, and I was like, "Wow." There's no way, like, this has to be. Is it one of your bits? No. One of my bits? It's one of Patrice's bits. No. 
Yeah, I want. Should we show them Patrice's yeah. bit first, well, or show it to me and I'll tell you if it, if I know the bit? Okay, show them the clip first. Play, can you make it uh, big? It's space, so we don't get flagged. Okay, space. All right, so here we go. Play it. What a Guy, bad guys in prison. Okay, I know that actor. He's in a lot of shit. He's getting out of prison. Mm hmm. Getting all his stuff. With his keys. Got a car. Flipping everybody off. Flip everybody off. Yep. Singing. Gas station. He's Walk just out of jail, dude. Yeah, walking by cops like, screw you. Yeah. Goes in, gets a can, tries to steal it. Can of soda. Oh, pays right. for it. Pays for it because she catches him. Hits it. He's Drinking. driving in the desert. Drinking yep. soda. Tries to throw it over into a thing. Oh, they're going to do the Pepsi can rapist. And then the can jingles down. Oh, immediately. And then they're looking at the suspect. There's bullet things and the can's right there. And they put it in evidence. And yep, it's Patrice's Pepsi can rapist bit from his Comedy Central Presents. Am I right? Yep. Yep. Now play it. Now stop. Play One of Patrice. my favorite. Because I'm a black guy. I got to watch what I'm I doing. I got it. We're going to play it right here. Oh, okay. I so they can it. see it. So you don't ruin his bit. Well, he's dead and he can't say anything about it. Yeah, he could. <laughs> the light, Are we the doing it? Dude, <laughs> fucking what? I would honestly, I'm wearing light jeans. I would have to stand up and show the camera the piss running down my leg. <laughs> Patrice, I'm sorry. You're one of my favorites. Oh, my God. All right, yeah. God. Ready? Here we go. That's why I don't litter. I don't throw garbage in the street. Not because I care about the earth, but I'm afraid I'm be walking through the park drinking a soda. And when I'm done, I just throw it on my shoulder, flower bush, and land on some dead white woman's head with my fingerprints on the can. <laughs> now I'm the Pepsi Cola rapist because I'm lazy. <laughs> what, what a fucking joke. What a joke. He was the best. I mean, the best. One of the coolest moments of my comedy career was unfortunately after he passed, but it was a real cool moment where you and I sat in the car and listened to Mr. P for the first time. Yeah. I was opening for you. We yeah, like went and we were at Bananas in Hasbro Heights. Oh yeah, and we just sat in the car and listened to it in a parking lot, and it was and fucking laughed. surreal. Was... We were dying with that Obama. I am black, you are white, <laughs> and then uh, the fucking dogs joke is one of my favorite jokes of all time. Yeah. It's like my dogs love me, but they don't act like they don't need me. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. One of the best bits out there. It is. Thank you, thank you. Kissing my face now that I have a dog. I'm like, God damn, that bit is fucking perfect. <laughs> what you saying? I need a laugh and shit. Yeah. That is so fucking good. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, he was fucking, he was the best. I mean, it's like, uh, yeah, you know, comedy taking a break like that has been fun coming back just to see everybody and you forget how much fun fucking comedy is. Because like yeah. when you were at home, when we were just at home on Zoom and shit, it just sucked. Yeah, I mean, it sucked. It was it was devastating to find out how unessential our business is. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was funny because I thought we deserved it. I didn't, dude. After I didn't, everybody I didn't. sucking their own dicks, acting like comedy was actually a job. Dude, I didn't have enough money to do that. I had too much shit going on. I too, dude, I, yeah, dude, when you have a kid. And oh, my God. You have a house. I was lucky that I just had, I had a radio show that could continue. So my right. job was still going. You were still essential. I mean, I took a hit, but we fucking got to do our radio show on Zoom, which was massive. Yeah, dude. And like, that I, really I, helped. No. My thing was always the seller. So yeah. I'd be like, ah, dude, I'll just, if, you know, if I get canceled or something, I'll yeah, just the seller. Do, I'll do the seller every night. Dude, I and, love that. And then when they were like, yeah, the cellar's closed, all the clubs are closed, Jeez. I was like, fuck me. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. I told Dawn, I go, dude, I don't know what to do. What are you going to do? I don't fucking know what to do. Jeez. I was like, what are you going to do? And then luckily, like some fucking residual shit came in. Yeah. Like, I mean, some like shit from movies. Yeah, you're like, what? The Soderbergh's residual came in from that movie I did that was like on an iPhone. That you're like, good luck, Chuck. Yeah, yeah, some weird shit came in, dude. That's fucking hilarious. Some like God, they picked up tourgasm in Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, man, you're on fucking Chinese Hulu. Oof. They love Dane. <laughs> you're just like, <laughs> oh my God, Don, we can buy a fucking compound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, like, um, dude. And a funny story. He's the fucking Starberry of China for comedy. Dane just has a resurgence <laughs> in Beijing. The, you know that movie I did last night at Eddie's was good in fucking Taiwan, <laughs> I believe, or some weird shit. And some yeah, something gets over and you're like, fuck it, dude. Whatever. I was I was a sex symbol in a in a Chinese town. <laughs> you're a god now. Yeah, they used to have they used to have my haircut. <laughs> yeah, they're like, dude, we fucking love this guy. That mullet that they he would had surgically a get their lips puffed up to look like mine. Dude, sexy Bobby haunting the halls of the club <laughs> you still work is one of the funniest things 
What? Just like you have a picture of you being smoking hot <laughs> when you come up the stairs after a set and it's just you laying against the wall in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing worse than being down in the cellar and girls looking at the wall and my sexy bobby photos behind me i'm like who's that and i'm like standing right there they did an old indian chief curse you <laughs> you will be as large as a buffalo <laughs> you're like, just shut up dude get the fuck out of my way old man you are messing with a force you do not understand <laughs> for you are the great white water buffalo and you will be cursed the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, fuck you, dude. I'm going to a set. I'm going <laughs> to some pussy. I'm going to suck on some tits. Dude, are you on fucking meth? Why are you yeah. so fucking energetic? And <laughs> I, I had a coffee late. me, dude. I had a coffee late, and I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> I, I've seen you on Zoom and shit, but that was like. Mm, yeah, it's not the same. Yeah, the how, rest- how is it going now? You're, you, I mean, dude, you've stepped up your game. We're back in studio. Well, you're back in the studio, but you've stepped up your game. You moved out of your apartment. It's yeah, like- look at that fucking hunk. <laughs> look at that hunk of meat. Yeah, look at they ripped that shirt off, dude. That's a half mesh, half regular shirt. Damn, half, that's dude. a half half. That's a Puerto Rican Day Parade shirt. That, that's a half half. Yeah, dude, a half of the little. I believe that's a it. woman shirt that I'm wearing. Nah, that was '80s. That was full on '80s hunk boy. Yeah, look at behind me. I look like one of those guys behind me, dude. Yeah, you could, you look like you walked off the wall, like ah uh-huh. <laughs> ah. You're slamming against the wall, dude. The fucking walls are moving. I got these two fucking German guys with wrenches chasing me. <laughs> You're ah ha ha. Take on me. Yeah, that was my favorite part. Oh, dude, the construction helmet, hard at work. Yeah. Or at work, hard. Right? Yeah. We get it. That was a girl, Den- Denise Contino. She took that picture? No, her mom. Her mom took that picture? Yeah. Did you do a Brazzers like a <laughs> mother-daughter combo? <laughs> Brazzers. I love Brazzers. Who doesn't? <laughs> They're the vivid of the modern. Oh, the fucking opening of that is just like a, a <laughs> horror movie. You're like, Zhong, 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 it's the Brazzers. Netflix babong, but for your wiener. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the noise it makes? I don't know what it is. Yeah, Brazzers not- goes. I've watched enough of their preview videos that it goes. I'm so mad at that fucking advertisement. Hey, what is that? Want to play a game where you come in four <laughs> seconds? You're like, dude. what is that? No, what is it? They're all um, the same. Jay Jay brought it up. He's like, because Jay watched more porn than I do, and he's like, dude, they're in every fucking frame. They like go by month by month. What's the opening ad? What's that one? Um, um, what the fuck is that company? That it's it's in the middle. It's at the beginning of every ad. Hey, jerk, jerk, jerk mate, jerk, jerk mate. Ah, oh, it's jerk the mate. worst. They're like, <laughs> it's like Facebook, but for jerking off. Because they they it's louder. You know, I just nailed that. It's, I just nailed the exact. It's unbelievable. If the EP was here, he'd put me on. Dude, <laughs> it's ten points louder yeah. than the actual point. Ah, you're like, shut up, bitch! You have your thumb over your phone. So, so you speaker. Turn, you turn the porn down. <laughs> yeah, and then you got to turn it up when the porn comes on, and then the next movie comes on. Hey, Jay, you, you, you like want to come on me? Come to jerk me, <laughs> and it's fucking no, loud. Dude. Yeah, but that's how you watch porn for free. You know, God bless them. And porn is free. Nobody's ever fucking. I used to have that bit in my my act, like all not some of it, all of it. Yeah, there was a time when you, you had. Tape. To, you had to go to the porn store in Times Square, Damn. go in, rifle through some But how shit. fun was that? You kind of knew everyone was a little geeked up. It wasn't up. fun. It was thrilling. Thrilling is a great word. It was for not it. fun. It was you still got the red tape? I still have the red tape. Yeah, I do. I would love to view that. Like the right, watch, like I don't, I'll buy a VCR. You'd have to buy a VCR. I'll buy a VCR. I'll buy some R- RC, RCA cables. That Look should be that. a Patreon tier thing. What, watching the red tape? Yeah, I mean. Watching. Dude, that's like a million dollar Patreon. Mm. You got to give mucho dinero to watch the red. The red tape was fucking hot. Man. Sangria. I, <laughs> <laughs> I sent that out three times and it came to back. Who's all busted to it that you know? What do you mean? Who's busted nuts to it? Give Gary the fucking Gullman? give the lineup. Gary Gullman. What's the what's the lineup at the comedy club look like of dudes who have jerked to that? I think it was Gary. I gave it to Al Del Benny. All right. I think Dane had it for a minute. There you go. That's already. I mean, Gullman and and Cook. Gary are moving tickets. Gary requested it. Hell yeah. And then he says, "I did." Jay it, Davis ever see? He it? came back to me a year later, and he had it. He goes, "I'm finished." Wow. And he handed it back to That's me. That's a batch to every scene. That's what uh, yeah. that sounds like. He's, he goes, and he, like, he said, thank you very much I for am, the red tape. I am drained. 
I am color blind. I forget there was there was there was uh two two th- there was two scenes on that. That's it? No, no, no. There was a bunch, but there was two scenes that stood out. Because those were like porn mixtapes. For those young listeners that don't understand, porn used to come mixtape style. Mixed where tape. sometimes it was a it was a follow through, it was a serial thing where you followed the storyline. But most of the time it was like smash to Bianca Trump and Michael Wild Dicks. And then there's This like, was this was a scenario based acting, which I like. So a movie, a storyline all the way. It was uh short stories. Ah, fun. Short stories. Fun. I always love a diary of a MILF. Short stories. That was Red Shoe Diaries on HBO, which is one of the things I first- Similar, but ha- this was hardcore. Yeah, of course. The one that I liked the best mm-hmm. was the husband was hiding in the closet. Fun. They hired a guy to come over to fuck his wife. Okay. And um, all of a sudden the guy pulls up. But when um, just before he pulled up, the whatever the six, like kind of flipped down or something happened. The address to nine. changed. Okay. So the guy was like, "There it is." So he goes in to the wrong house. Well, he goes into the the house and he um, forcefully takes this woman. Oh, for the money that her husband owed. Okay. And it was a pretty holy god scene, and she fought a little bit, but then she gave in. Sure. And then, because uh, she, her and her husband hired this guy. Certain- but I thought he went to the wrong address. Well, it turns out this guy who came in was <gasps> at the the last scene was like, hello, what do you mean he can't find the house? Uh, the guy they hired couldn't find the house because the number flipped. Uh, the guy that came in was, really was a mob moment. guy. Looking for the other address. But did he, what, so what, he just banged the lady he and came he came in, he banged her. You get money? No, he, they didn't get the money. Goes, you guy tell, goes in the river. You tell your husband. I'm telling you right now. Next I'm, time, it's gonna be his ass. I fuck. No, that's that's pretty. That's what he says. If I'm the mafia boss, that guy's off the team. You didn't bring me back my money. Yeah, the same for you to get all out there. Unless you're the boss. Unless it was the boss doing it. But I don't, the boss doesn't do that. The boss doesn't come in and fucking. Nah, he's got his. What are they called? What are those side pieces called? Glu- uh, uh, lieutenants? No, no, no. The, the uh, gumas. Guma. He's got his guma. Guma. <laughs> yeah, but you come in and you bang. Ah, it's bad for business. Yeah, yeah. Listen. Hey, the only woman that receives my seed is my fucking wife. And the guma. She blows me. But the guma gets the seed too. Yeah, she gets the seed in her mouth. And then you kill it. Yeah, they you mush it. Spits it out like Dimaggio. <laughs> you make her spit into a Dixie cup. You don't put that in your vagina. I'm not having a half Russian, half what Italian are you baby. Fucking, are you out of your fucking <laughs> Russian tits? Spit that in the sink like a dentist. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'd cut that guy loose. The second, so that was your favorite scene on the red The thing. second favorite scene on it was um, the the girl was home from school. How old are we talking here? Oh, well, she's got to be your 19, mouth- 20. Okay. Yeah, she's not a, I don't, I'm not into kitty stuff. Anymore. Yeah. Thank 19, God, because that would really damage this. No, 1920. I don't know about the EP. I, I don't know what you guys are doing. Like in big uh, Hollywood. high school and a no, high school. That's still, let's just say early college. <laughs> yeah, let's college, just, college. you know what? College. Let's just say. First year a, college. Yeah, community, community community college. Sophomore year, just to make sure we got some clearance. Sophomore year college. Undergrad still. She's still an undergrad. She's sophomore college. That's still fun. Uh, but Catholic college. All right. <laughs> so. All right. So anyways. Um, the boyfriend comes home. They live together. Well, no, no, no. Her, uh, the mother's boyfriend comes home. Oh catch, no! Catches her reading a porno. A ma- uh, like a like a she, Danielle Steele. She's checking out a penthouse. The boyfriend, the mother's boyfriend, comes. It's pretty home. hardcore stuff. Now, then the mother comes home and catches her boyfriend with her daughter. What? And the mother gets mad at the daughter and the boyfriend. Goes, you want to do this? I'm going to teach you how to do this. That's every scene of the past seven years. And then teaches the daughter how to do it. Damn. You saw like you saw a scenario <laughs> before it went big. You I understand? Saw, that I red saw, tape was like, yeah. that was like hipster band that no one knew. Yeah. That premise of yeah. like mom walks in, mm. girlfriend's fucking the mm. like, how dare you? Or a lot of times now it's the girl, the daughter and her boyfriend. And then the mom comes in and yeah. like, let me show you how to suck a dick. Yeah, no, this was husband. Like this is I've never seen anything like this back then. Yeah. And that's this gotta is, be mine. This boy. is VHS. I mean, you gotta rewind it. I mean, just you do it. to understand the concept. You have to perfectly time your your orgasm. Yeah. So that those were the top two scenes. 
Top two. What's your bottom scene? Um, the one at the where the guy comes in and he's at a hotel and the the um uh, the girls are staying there and he's like the manager of the hotel and they came in and they 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 force him on the bed and that's fun. Nah, eh, they start sticking stuff in his butt. That's not fun. Humiliating him. That's not fun. And he takes it. That's not fun. Yeah, but I didn't like that one. If you're in management, you got to learn how to do that. So you I feel better to, as him as a hotel manager. It's hospitality. Yeah, he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Well, we can honor your Hilton. Are you going to leave me a five-star on Travelocity? I don't think you should staple my pee hole shut, but that's <laughs> your opinion as the guest, as the guest of our place. Do you remember, like, I mean, jerking off now or going to watch porn is so, f I'm almost done with it. Yeah. It's so like, I mean, I've seen every- Yeah, I'm tired. It's tired, like, tired, I'm, tired, tired. I'm searching for, I'm like typing in fucking, you know, uh, windy kidnapping. You like uh, the kidnapping? No. You know, I'm trying yeah. to find some weird shit yeah. that right. I've never seen, like I've gun been gambling. In Sasquatch footage. Type in Sasquatch. Can you type in Sasquatch, see if any porn comes up for I, that? I like to type in bare knuckle boxing big tits. <laughs> Just see two fucking I wonder, <laughs> thick women exchanging. <laughs> type in, type in, type in Sasquatch porn. Yeah, dude. I bet there's a dude dressed like Sasquatch with a big old dong oh, playing it to a lady. This poor girl's trying to give a blowjob and the hair keeps getting in her mouth. <laughs> right. Excuse me, Mike Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Director Mike Diamond. <laughs> I don't think I can do this. <laughs> no. <laughs> dude, now yeah. you, but you don't watch porn. Now you live with a girl. Yeah, I live with my lady friend. So you can't really fuck her. You have, I mean, dude. is she ever not home where you can do it? Road. You just wait till the road. Uh, you can't do it at home. I'm doing. I'm trying to do it as a joke right now, but it happened. What? You got caught? Yeah. Oh no. On a Bluetooth speaker. No. <laughs> yeah, dude. We got. I got her a Bluetooth speaker for Christmas. Oh. And, and then you... we were both on it, and then it was like the beginning of the pandemic, <laughs> and I fucking would put porn on my. I was in the you know where we recorded the guests the podcast and stuff and i was yeah. like i haven't watched porn in like weeks right I mean, I type in an old scene oh no and it was like <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't any audio yeah and i was like where the fuck is the audio <laughs> and she was in the shower listening to the speaker Dude. and i didn't know that my phone was connected and i was turning it up and i was like what the fuck <laughs> i was like rewinding the scene it's just like Ah, ah, and I hear it through the wall and I'm like no 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 dude my heart was in my fucking throat you know that feeling where you're like fuck 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 fuck, fuck yeah. and I turned it off and I just I said fuck like a hundred times I was like fuck 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 and then I come out and she's like you know how women dry their hair yeah. and she comes out of the bathroom and she goes I don't want to talk about it and I was like yeah cool 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 and then like a week later I was like I'm really sorry about that she was like that was fucking crazy but this is how much I love Katie like a month ago because we were both like one day that's going to be very funny right and then she walked out to the living room one day and i was watching yeah. tv and she goes it's time for you to tell that story on stage oh no shit yeah okay. she was like it was too funny yeah because porn un porn out of nowhere jarring audio, audio porn audio audio porn is when you're listening to music that makes you feel good yeah and it's cut out and you just hear like oh yeah fuck <laughs> oh, fuck yeah <laughs> fucking <need> it. <laughs> There is mighty night nice with, with Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Oh, an oh, explosive ordeal that. of rape and revenge <laughs> beyond any woman's experience. Um, if you don't, John Cotter and Judith Frankel. I'm watching that tonight. I love Judith. Can we watch a scene? Judith Frankel. There's no scenes. I don't know. There, there's a bunch of joke things, but the actual. Night with Sasquatch. Is it a book or is it a movie? This is a book. Oh, I'm not reading porn. Wait, a couple wrote that book. That's so funny. Oh, sorry, honey. I'm all hot at the typewriter. You jump in. Then Sasquatch raped me. He goes, I heard. That's where you're going? I heard rocks being thrown into trees from the distance. Oh, it sounded like a moose, but and there were no moose in the air. I heard sticks crack as I bent down to pee. As I, fell, as I drank the cool water <laughs> from the stream, I felt a large hairy hand on my back and instantly became aroused. <laughs> It went up my sundress. And he's just massaging her as she's writing it, going, yes. <laughs> it's very erotic. Oh, God. It's very erotic lover. Dude, I don't think fucking List is coming back. He's coming back. You want to bet on it? I, how much you want to make a bet? One dollar. <laughs> All right. That is huge. How, where, how come it's so noticeable that they're not cooking the marshmallows? Yeah. <laughs> I was that producing does, this. That does bug me. There's You're no an EP. Jesus what Christ. would you do? How, what were your notes? Back.
Damn, dude. If you need a heat source, yeah, you my career that. might do the trick. <laughs> wow. Oh, You're Joe in Fuego list. Oh, you won 50 bucks. We didn't win. No, we didn't. Stop it. We already did it. We didn't win. The coin? Isn't the, Where's the, the coin? Win? Where's the coin? Wait, Give me that. This is a winner. Give this me the coin. Seriously a winner. Give me the you coin. You won 50 bucks. Give me the coin. Give it to us. You, you if, won 50 If you're lying, your career goes in the tubes. Hold on one second. Win a prize show. Yeah. Let me see. Let Any, me see. I think it was you like fucking fucking reveal. I, I, you won 50 bucks, you <laughs> Let me see it. Dumb. Let me see it. I yeah. should get. Let me see it, though. I should get this money. <laughs> lying. This is a $50 You're fucking letter. lying. I will bet you if $50. No, I'll bet you $25. Let me see I'll quick. split it with you. Let me hold it. If it's, if it, I will split it with you. Let me hold it real quick. If you're not lying, I'm going to check this nothing. We were going to throw them out, you fucking pothead. This is the thing. This is the problem you made, the mistake you made. What? He's not from New England. New Englanders don't know scratch. Non New Englanders don't know scratch tickets. They're what Indian. does that mean? We're too busy settling in the West. We care about scratch tickets. We live, we're ensconced in scratch tickets. Right. He's from Colorado. They just got scratch tickets two years ago. <laughs> He's not a yeah, read it. He's a moron. Let me see. No Let me see. 50 bucks. Let me see. 50 bucks. He's a you're dummy. You're a fucking, you're a fucking, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> He's from Colorado. I'll never do anything with you ever again. I don't again. know anything. No, no uh, more uh, fun am I wrong? I, this I, is a jackpot. No, sir. Dude! No, sir. Oh, let me see. He's acting. He's acting now. Hey, let me see. That. Hang on, you fucking pot. No, I'm not letting you see it. Hold That's on. A it's a $50 winner. 50, baby. I was, oh, my I don't God. Think Why'd you blow my you, shit up, Joe? You're you, an idiot. What's 25% of 50? I want to know what you're not getting. <laughs> oh, my God. Now nah, you're not getting any of that. Joe, I'll split it with you. I get like 1250. Can I get 25%? You're not getting any of anything. You, we were going to throw it out. I was going to take it. I No, you weren't. I didn't know. It was going to be tossed. I was looking at numbers. Oh, God. So where, where are you going to be this weekend? I'm going to be at Moon Tower in Austin, what? Texas, Thursday through Saturday. And then I'll be- Is it this weekend at Moon this Tower? Weekend. This you, weekend. Oh, so you're doing with Jay, right? Yeah, we're doing a live bonfire Friday night at Antone's. Wow. And then uh, I, I will be in Milwaukee at the Improv, and I will be at the Orlando Improv, and I will be at the American Comedy Company. Go to dancecenter.com for tickets. Are these all like theater shows that you're doing? Comedy with, like, clubs with theater? real comedians doing real jokes. Oh, I thought you were like acting with like a company. Nah, bro. <laughs> Straight new hour. Of stand-up comedy or of kind of hilarity. Like a, like a one-man show type of thing. <laughs> of absolute hilarity. You're doing like a one-man show thing now? Oh my God, it's yeah. a deep dive. Really? About what? About it's called Evening in Aurora. Evening in Aurora. <laughs> Just look back, dude. We're all doing autobiographical Joe, shit. What are you doing? Uh, well, as a stand-up comedian, this when does this? You're an out? Actor, I never dude. know. What... Sunday, you're it's out now. We're live right now. You're well, right. if you're listening live, I'm at Helium in Philadelphia this weekend, and if you're listening on the regular podcast stream, I am in Royal Oak, Michigan hey. at the uh, Doctor Grin. Uh, no, not that's Grand Rapids. Sorry, where are you at? Royal Oak is Mark Ridley's. Oh, Comedy Castle. Oh, Comedy Mark Castle. How is that place? It's great. They invented oh, the God. MC feature headliner format. Well, really? I wish they'd uninvented. Uh, <laughs> I just want a fucking MC. I want one guy going up, and then I, I'm sick of the middle guy getting the prime spot. Yeah. I want a guy going up doing fucking 15 minutes. 20. I go up, and then he does another 15 at the end. And it, while, the the checks, end. while the checks Oh, spot. cool down. Yeah. I'm going to reinvent what the fuck they Holy invented. Holy shit, Bobby. You're onto something. So, <laughs> yeah, we'll leave fucking. Let me hold on to that real quick. No, I'm not holding on to anything. Let me just Dude, see it real The guy goes up and does 15. Love it. Gets everybody focused. Get it. Brings you out. No fucking, he's done this. He's done. Ladies and gentlemen, your give headliner. it up. Your headliner, Robert Kelly. <sighs> I go up. No check spot. Bobby. People already got their drinks. Bobby. They already got their food. Bobby. I do it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And then I do my jokes. People laugh. And then they cry. And then I go, good night. An hour in, I go, good night. Thank you so oh much. Man. And, then, <laughs> and then he comes back up, does 15 minutes, check spot, drop all the checks. Drop all the checks. What about what about clubs that don't do check spots? Who doesn't do a check spot? Comedy on state. Comedy on state. That was a Ugh. terrible fart. A little tiny bum hole. Even through your fucking old man sweatpants. Yeah, That's your fucking, sucked. your coach pants. Hey, I went on stage at the VU. <laughs> your Belichick pants. I said, pants. what do you guys think of these pants? My friends were poking fun. Boo. And a woman, a fucking hottest woman I've ever seen in my life. She's like, those are nice. She's like, they don't look like sweatpants. They look like nice pants. No, they don't. They look you made like up a lady. <laughs> I just made somebody I up. Made up a lady. Why would you make somebody up I to your friends? I swear to God. He already took $50 from me. Yeah, 25 What a fuck up. I, know. You're, I feel I dumb. You're I feel gen fun. genuinely. Hey, can you do I me a favor? Can you get those little fingers away from me? Because they scare me. You cannot. Yeah, please. I'm not even trying to be funny. Oh. You can't trust 
a person from outside of Massachusetts. I don't like that his hair on his knuckles didn't grow, but the 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 follicles did. Like it's just the it's just the roots. roots holes. Baby. You have the root holes on your knuckles, roots. but no hair. Can learn you, about American history. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> you look good with the beard. I like. I like the beard too. Kiss. We're about to triple. Yeah, kiss. triple. No, kiss. I couldn't kiss a guy with a beard. Why? I, I don't you. have a beard. You kiss me? Oh I'll my god! I could kiss you all day. That smooth face. <laughs> oh, those lips. All right, listen. Oh, we're, we're gonna go with. That, that, I didn't finish that, my date. The testy. What's your date? Tank. Mar- uh, Mark Ridley. How many dates do you got? Yeah. You know, I actually years ago hooked up with a, a cop at that place. What was his name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we have a lot of fun here. Woo, boy. Because it, <laughs> it's funny to be gay. It was. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, it was. A uh, girl. If Lewis was here, that would be an uh, F word chant. <laughs> I miss Lewis. I do too. I just talked. When are we going to get I... the group? When are we get the band back together? Let's fly. I don't know when he stops fucking going on vacation. Yeah, living in Jamaica. Oh my god, fucking smoking pot, living in Jamaica with a fucking ten. I bought a house in New Jersey. I didn't want to tell you guys. No, you didn't. Liz did the same thing. She's like, "You'll never come back. Forget it." Yada yada. You know why she did that? Because she's not an asshole. She's smart. She's smart. Don't move to Jersey. Move to Westchester. Buy a lake house. You'll be happier. Oh my god. There's there's a lake. There's a lake right up near me. You can buy a house right on a lake, we'll bar- way cheaper. We can even, we're almost at a bowling oh. team. Yeah, dude. I'm sorry, are you luring right now? Oh, <laughs> set up. Classic oh, setup. That was a hand. Yeah, no. no, you hit hands. It's just wimpy little yeah, thin is. hands you have. We just have our little bird hands. Yeah, your hands that have never done oh, yard work oh, ever. Oh, yard work. All you've done is hold joints and forks with those fucking fingers. You're right, dude. I've done work with my mind, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you've done nothing with your mind. I have expanded you, my brain. You haven't expanded anything except your bro, beard. Whatever. Bro, whatever. Yeah. Pull, pull some weeds. The yeah, important whatever. thing is we're I'm all smoking buddies. them. I do. I'm so happy. To, I can't even speak. I'm so happy to have you guys. Can we go back to the Bigfoot porn? Yeah. What is that? What are you bringing up? Oh, yeah. I, there you go. Creeps with Kids this weekend. Pa- hey, you guys yeah. are back, baby. We're back. I'm very excited. We're back at Long Island Celebrity Theater in New Jersey on my birthday weekend. Mm. Yeah, 8th and 9th. I'm very excited. And uh, Governor's Comedy Club, Skankfest South. Mm. Comics come home at the TD Garden. I'm doing that again. Damn. You're doing Skankfest? Ah uh, yeah, Why are you? Oh, bro, yeah. Let's. So am I. Fucking cigar. Oh, good. What? Wine. Are you serious? Yeah, dog. We should do a live fucking. Thing. You know what, dude? We're gonna do it. You not, dude? We gonna do one? Yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta get. I mean, Lewis, it's his festival, so he has to be there. I'm doing. Oh, a, I'm doing a YKWd. We crowd surf, remember? And where's the invite, dude? It was. It's always. It's there. We do it every time we do Skankfest. Oh yeah, we lit the hat on dude, fire. That was fun. That was surf. a lot of fun. Dude. R- lighting Rich Voss's hat on fire was one of my favorite comedy moments. It was awesome. And we it paid for it. The fans paid for it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, Bananas Comedy Club. I'm gonna be in Jersey with Joe lives now. Yeah. Um, That's right. And the warehouse. I got a bunch of dates up there. Comicwearables.com. All YKWD gear is up there. Use the code word Ladybugs and get twenty percent off everything you want. Awesome YKWD hat. YKWD shirt. Uh, mm. Fuck Doug Bell. Mm. The um, Sister Pink shirts up there. Pancake Sunday, all kinds of stuff up mm. there. Code word Ladybug. Lady. Uh, Dan Soda's. Oh, did, yeah. No one's bought your shirt yet, though. Oh, that hurts. Why? You can buy a Dan Soda shirt. For 25 bucks? Jeez. Yeah, look at that. I yeah. have one. I wear it all the time. I know. I have one, too. You give me yeah. Well, I, I love, You wore it to set. I did. I wore it to set. Aww. Yeah, it was fun. Um, also, um, what else do we got? Patreon.com slash Robert Oh, Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Go there. We're going to be going there very shortly, correct? You got a microphone over there? Or are you just going to whisper in my ear? Don't go breaking my <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> hey, check this out. I got to read this ad now, right? No, after the extra time. Nice talk to you. All right, listen, everybody, uh, I want to thank both of them. I mean, dude, I got I got to be honest. Can I have a moment right now? Sure. All right. I love both of you guys. I love you, too. So much. And I know you guys are all doing your own thing. Sure. But I remember you guys as little tiny bucks. Running around. Being in your kitchen. Being in my kitchen. I did it twice there. Right? I brought him in. Mem- remember we used to come up here and it was that yep. little area over right there? Here. Joe oh, and I used to sit right there and drink. Those right? are the ones that are going to really ruin Hurt our us. lives. Well, yeah, don't yeah. say that now because people oh, don't it's already know. Gonna, I already, I've already made peace with it. Yeah, we've made peace. Yeah, I've, I've set myself up where I have a secret bank account for when those old <laughs> you-know-what dudes break. Yeah. <laughs> My will just disappear. Nah. Catch me in Montana. Gonna, gonna really <laughs> Yard working. Is that why you're really, doing the beard? It's going to really screw us. 
Uh, <laughs> God, this guy, he's going to be a powerful EP, probably running Lionsgate. Yeah, uh, Lionsgate. He's going to be Universal. <laughs> universal. They're going to be like, Universal head Joe List has to step down after a 2009 podcast surfaced. And it's me like this. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyways, I'm. you guys ruined my moment. Well, we love yeah. you. You ruined That's what we moment. do. Yeah, that was fun, though. The wooden thing and everyone signed it. No, but then you brought it to your career being ruined. Now I yeah, feel you're right. Well, our careers, we didn't make it about ourselves. Uh, Bobby and I might survive. We're not Hollywood elites. Yeah, we're not elites. We're we're uh, character actors. Yeah, we're on the outskirts. We're, we we yeah, do the we're out per- there. perimeter. We out there. We 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 get into roles, but basically we're just doing it to help with our stand up career. Yeah, and we dip back into stand up. You're it's you're, very you're, 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 a, you're an executive producer. You're yeah. a writer. You're a, there's a lot of guilds involved with you. Yeah, you have more to lose. You got yeah, very you got a lot of guild energy. I'm this sure is. this I'm sure this film we made will be more accepted in Hollywood than billions. Billions is a great show. Sunday nights at nine p.m. on Showtime. <laughs> Check I don't think out. ours will be on Showtime. Are you looking in your camera? I'm running, I'm down barrel, yes. Down Look, the barrel. Hi, we I'm, made. Hi, I'm Dan Soder from Billions, and a lot of mean things have been said here tonight. <laughs> but something that you can I haven't watch. laughed in this this much in so long. I Listen, know I've been seeing the lineups. Our movie's going on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a good laugh. Yeah, sure. Paul and Quinn was supposed to be on next week, but I'm out of town. I'm going on tour with somebody that helped Joe make a movie. And I am uh, <laughs> Hint. Ron on Hirschberg. Hint. <laughs> yeah, Ron. You gotta be with Ron on. Ron on's nervous. Yeah, why? Because he's like he's gonna bully me. He's like he's gonna. I'm gonna have to like I'm gonna he's gonna be call me fat like an idiot. And I'm lose. fat. Why would I call him fat? Ron is so nice. Why would I call him fat? I don't know if he said fat, but he was like I, I'm worried about what. Do you? I really? said I said you got a kind or gentle. You know what I said? We've been working on Bobby. It's a new new Bobby. What? If it's, this I, was 2007, Bobby's been working on Bobby. If this was two, I said we we as a team. No, it's him and Alan. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I, we. Well, dude, you're not. Alan, you, me, with the, the proverbial we. Bro. What are you giving? What are you, I'm doing it. I'm yeah. saying if this was 2006, you'd have you'd be giving him a wedgie, calling him a Jew, breaking <laughs> his glasses. But I think now you guys will be friendly. I was catching some heat can I tell, in 2010. Can I tell you why I feel like I've changed? Because that eyebrow kept no, going? No, no. Hmm. Not because of my eyebrow. Uh, I've been re-watching The Sopranos. Oh. And I really have empathy for Carmela. Oh, I really I see her side of it now. Oh, fun! And I know that I've changed as a person because I feel I feel bad. This for guy Carmella. hates the Sopranos. You don't like the Sopranos? I can't talk about it anymore. Why? Because everyone tweets at me. Hey, fucking blah 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 blah. You don't like the Sopranos? That's right. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? That's right. All right, listen, we'll talk about this in the oh, Patreon. Let's go to the can't. It's too many. Points. No, we'll this talk about it in the Patreon. Too many. We're we'll we'll going to the Patreon You're right now. Get any Patreon. Joe List. Let's, let's all Mike go B. to Suarez. the Patreon. Yes. Let's all go to the Patreon. Joe Trussell. We got new Nikki. Let's all go to the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. Because Joe List hates Sopranos. Now. Thank you. You know what, dude? Stick around, it's not over yet. This episode of YKWD is continuing now, exclusively on patreon.com slash Robert Kelly. One, two, slow. Three, four, my, Dan. So what, what, are you really gonna get a house? Get off your phone. Dude, Look stop. I'm hey. looking up hiccups. Off. Look at it. Down. Look at it up. Hold on. Get hiccups. This works with Myrtle. See a doctor if you Down. get hiccups for more than two days or you more. You named your dog Myrtle? Have she difficulty rules. breathing. Why did you name her Myrtle? Because she's a sweet old bitch. <laughs> okay, that's fucking good enough for me, yeah. man. So in the chat to the picture of Nicole with me and you. Oh, where is it? <laughs> there it is. Robert. Oh, my God. Mike is screwed up again. That looks exactly like us. Damn, dude. You know what, dude? The 2021 version. Oh my God! And I'm the bald one. Thanks. Ouch. Two fucking donkeys with Nicole. Where is uh? Where is Joe? Where's new Joe? I'm right here. Hey, uh, so you're gonna get a house? You're gonna do it? Someday. I don't. Well, know. you know what, dude? I got a thing for. Hey, it. that's the name of the show. <laughs> what? What do you got for me? Right now, you can go to Wicked Good Wholesale Furniture. Fuck, Ooh. dude. Dude from Boston. You come in, you get Wicked Good deals. Wicked good deals. 70% off regular retail prices. 70%? 70%, dude, for you. I'll buy a house just to get the bedding. We carry Ashley. They carry Carpenter, national wide, nationwide, and more furniture for all your rooms, too. So when you fill that little, that little not really uh, oceanfront property. Damn. 
He's not going to get an ocean park. What do they ocean call side. that? What do they call that? Oh, he's going to be fucking. Get off your phone. What do you call my phone? You're I'm looking... right here. No, you're not, dude. Right here. Put your I'm phone on right the here. table. I don't have my Put phone. your phone on the table. Phone. Put it. It's on your lap. It's not even. I'm going to do a bike ride. If I get over there and I find your phone, uh-huh. put your phone on the table, Dan. Dad's up here. <laughs> we're cool. Hey, we're cool. Wickedfurniture.com. Now, don't be wicked pissy and get your smart ass over there. Hey, we're cool. Get your smart ass over there. All right? Up, 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 up. Check. Read the rest of that in we're a Boston fucking, accent. Hey, we're cool. We're fucking cool. <laughs> now, don't be a wicked piss on. Get your smart ass over here to see us. We're just over the Phillipsburg Bridge. <laughs> it's in eastern Pennsylvania. Why are you doing Boston? Just go. He's from Boston. Yeah, but, but, but he's in down in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. So why aren't you just doing... Because York? that's where furniture companies are. Yeah, but... No. I bet all his friends were like, you're not going to sell any furniture if you move to Pennsylvania. Yeah. Here he is. Here he- now he's doing it. So Wicked. Yeah. Nah. Fuck that. It's Pennsylvania, dude. We're over, we're just over to Phil- That's Philly. Don't fool Philly. Yo, fuck you, Eastern Pennsylvania, dude. <laughs> we're just over to Phillipsburg Bridge located at 316 Town Center Boulevard. Eastern Pennsylvania. Go Eagles. I hate you. With Don't say that. It's a Boston accent. Nah, bro. You're not in your home. This ain't a home game. This is a way, dude. Uh, Mention the podcast and get free delivery and setup. We look forward to seeing you. Uh, That's actually more Baltimore. I love you guys. I love you too, man. I had God, a great I time. You. Fuck, I love you guys. Oh, I'd love to kiss. Fuck you. God. Let's I just want to lay on top of you guys and just give you the business. <laughs> so I like to, when I have gay sex, I talk like Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing your ass. So Dan Soda. DanSoda.com. DanSoda.com. JoeList.com. Comedian Joe Comedian uh, Joe List, because somebody it. had Joe List. The executive producer. Executive producer of the movie called, uh, what's the name of it again? I can't reveal it's called the Shiny Buttholes in the Sunlight. <laughs> yeah, it's called, <laughs> it's fucking it's called dude. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Um, called Shiny Buttholes in the Sunlight, based on the Ernest Hemingway play. Uh, oh, Papa. Papa. <laughs> Listen, the I want to thank all you page. What's that? Oh, the names. Oh, shit. We get the names. Let's Nicholas Mariano. What about no Gonzalez Estrada? No, <laughs> eh, Gonzalez Estrada. <laughs> Go ahead. Or Damian Wolf Seaford. <laughs> That's a long name. Andrew Dunn. I want to thank all you guys for being Patreon members. Yes. Thanks for coming on board. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Uh, YKWD fans, you're the best fans in the fucking world. Must my sheep. What is that? What? I was saying thank you. What did you? Moshi, moshi. Arigato. <laughs> Domo. Don't do that ever again. All right. I find it too adorable, and I would I want you to. Robert. <laughs> Arigato. Moshi, moshi. Why do I? Oh, you do it. It's not adorable. He does it. It's adorable. You do it like an American <laughs> drunk sailor. Oh, moshi, moshi. Whoa, oh, dude. That's- Thank God it's on Patreon. Oh my Thank God. God You're on- lucky we're behind yeah. a paywall. What are you talking oh, about? Fuck. <laughs> Why is that better? I'm anime, dude. Get off me. I'm in different markets. <laughs> that is oh, yes! so Stop. offensive. What? Listen, dude. We got to go. Dude. I love you guys. Patreon.com slash Robert you, Kelly. Are you, you're the you, best. If you're in Japan, make sure you check out Big Worm, Little Princess, my new cartoon coming out on the Kyoto Network. <laughs> Stop. That, this is not oh, representative not of Big Worm, that's Little that's Heart. That's not even me. Oh my Dude, that's, that's so me. offensive. Or, uh, we'll see you guys next week on You Know What? Yeah, and don't forget to go to WickedFurniture.com. It's not dude. a Billy accent. The fucking best, best Pennsylvania on furniture on fucking possible. Stop it. Stop it. it. Stop it. Dude, don't oh. forget to drink some water out the house. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>